this is the main crane lift for the, the roof. We've got 80 metres by 80 metres of aluminium frame structure that's put together. It's about 100 tonnes worth in weight and to do the lift safely and effectively we need to have six cranes all working at the, time, at the same time. They range in between about 300. When it came to reshaping the existing track, we had a 3D model taken of the existing track. Uh, we then tried to produce as close as can be a 3D model of what the new track wanted to look like. From that we deduced how much soil, spoil, muck away would be needed to either bring into site or to take off of site. With the reshaping we had enough to do the new shape so we didn't actually have to import any new material and the material that was left was then used to reshape the area to the north of the track so hence not having to take any material off of site or import any site. All these uh, houses on the top, as part of the ceremonies, we got to widen the gantries, this walkway all the way around, we got to widen that to fit these housings on. Inside those housings, you'll get follow spot operators. There'll be scenery will be hidden in there and actors will change clothing and things like that. And this little staging area here, we're gonna winch up so that we can work on the chandelier and pull all the cables. So it's like a little hanging platform for a few weeks, just for the guys to stand on and wire all the, all the all the equipment together. We've got a fixed deadline of the 27th of July for the opening ceremony. There's going to be no extension of time, so it's all time critical. We gained a lot of good knowledge out of some initiatives and the work that we did with the Shell, which was the safety, health, environmental leadership team. So we've learned a lot about cultural change, behavioural change, and trying to make sure that we send everybody home safe. Watching the cable net go up and watching the works on the tension ring, we stuck with our...